So everyone, welcome to EastEnders Chatter Channel, which weirdly we're going to talk about, not EastEnders, we're going to talk about Love Island today. Um, if you saw the last video, you will see that I've not, um, not been watching EastEnders recently because it's been, it was upsetting last time I watched it, so I've chosen to opt out of that for a little while now anyway. Um, but something I am really enjoying is watching Love Island. Now, I don't know if you're a Love Island fan. If you are, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure that you've subscribed because I'm probably going to tap in to talk about Love Island with you guys um, for the little foreseeable future. Now, the biggest question I generally get asked when I'm talking about this is who is my favourite? I'm pretty 100% sure that my favourite is Danny. Um, I really like the way that he looks. I think he's very gorgeous and clean and tidy looking and I like that. Um, he's also quite a gentleman and I think that he's got probably a real soft side that I could imagine when you're having a one-to-one -one with him that that's really quite cutesy. Now, my intention on talking about Love Island is not to sit and slag anybody off or try and... Um, shame anybody but obviously we all got we all form opinions about people and Arabella now that she's coming to the um into the mix she's getting a bit of a hard rap at the moment so um in fact I'm probably gonna need to upload these pretty soon after I've spoken about them because it changes daily doesn't it I'm not sure she's the right girl for him I think she's got great qualities there but I don't I'm not convinced that she's she's quite right for him i don't know why but she seems quite royal to me but i think she also seems quite tough she's quite a um, a harsh she's quite pushy i suppose and good luck to her because she's got exactly what she wanted which was him um but i don't think that he made the wrong decision in choosing her over um Yolandi, I think I'm saying that right. I keep saying her name wrong. I keep calling her Yolandi because if you've watched these senders since forever, there was a character on there called Yolandi. Yolandi. Um, Yolandi was lovely and I can see why the girls were upset that she left, but I don't think she treated Danny quite right and I don't think there should be all this lip pouting and spoiled bratedness that there's been for her for him not choosing her because let's face it she was having a conversation with i think it might have been anton where she was saying oh you know what he needs reassurance all the time and she didn't even lower her voice she said it to a point that he would have been able to hear that and um i thought personally i would never treat my man like that i think if you've got something like that to say you say it to him privately with just the two of you you don't go shouting about it so that he can hear and all the rest of it i think that's really really wrong so i didn't like that and then the minute arabella came in and she changed her tune and i'm sure you guys can figure that out but in there they can't seem to figure that out which is really frustrating maybe that's in the editing then maybe that's how we're just um, perceiving it i don't know but I think he's made the right decision not to choose you, Andy. But I don't know if Arabella is the right girl for him. I think he could do with somebody far more sort of gentle, a bit kinder, a bit more, a bit less outspoken. A bit less outspoken, is that a thing? Um, you know what I mean. So that's my take on Danny. Um, I was starting to think that, oh, I need to get their names right, the fireman. Oh, I've forgotten his name. And the girl with the curly hair. I can't remember. What a good looking couple they really are. And they seem really, really happy together. Um, she seemed to really soften from the girl that we first saw when she first went in there to like how she is now with him. It seems to really be working for them. And I've really got high hopes that they're going to do well together. That said, um, when she kicked off about you auntie going and she really had a go at Danny, I think she was really immature, really childish. And it was the same with Anna. Um, I'm really glad that her man, I'm really sorry, what's with these names? I don't know. Her man, you know, the guy that came in recently um, along with Tom, she, he, sorry, he was very, um, picked her up for it and he said that was really childish and walked off and left her and all the guys went off and left the girls being childish I'm really glad that they did that because the girls need to just get a grip stop being bitchy and just grow up about it and I, I was glad that they did that I thought yep good on you guys because guys are so straight down the line aren't they they'll sort of like go like Tommy said to um, Danny 
about him kissing at Arabella. It was like, maybe that was a bit soon, but it's done now and you guys seem really happy. So it is what it is. <laughs> it's what it is. That's the phrase of the, of the thing, isn't it? Um, so that's that. What do we think about, um, I nearly called him Charlton. <sighs> Amy and Curtis. What do we think about those two? A lot of people are saying they can't see any sexual chemistry there. To me, they do look like a typical old married couple. I think, I don't like to say this, but there's certain elements about her that reminds me a little bit of myself. And I know that that's insecurity. So I think that she's quite insecure. Curtis is so forgiving and loving and beautiful in the way that he's treated her. And I think she's very, very lucky that he's just kind of, when she has her moment of sulkiness, he goes and he cheers her up and he takes full responsibility. Oh my goodness, well done Curtis for that. Um, who else we got that we should talk about? Tommy and Molly mate, yeah, they're pretty cute together. Not sure where that's going. I think, I think Tommy is quite, desperate to fall in love with somebody that's what I think because of how what the strong words that he used about the other girls as well when he was um like having some time with them and I just think okay so you're obviously like really into that girl and then really into that girl and then really into that girl um and our surfer girl oh, these names why are they escaping me I don't know whatever her name is oh god I can't believe that I'm forgetting her name um she's lovely I like her I like her a lot and I think she's really had a hard rap in there. I think she needs to find someone. I think she needs to find some guy in there. Um, I'm probably gonna wrap that up for now and I might not even get to watch tonight. So I can't promise I'm gonna be reporting back here on every single Love Island episode, but um, I'd be really interested to hear your comments. So make sure that in the description box down there or in the comments box, sorry, I said description box, in the comments box that you give me your opinion on things and, and what you think. And, how you found it and um yeah let's have a discussion about it because that will be really interesting so open up there down there be respectful for one another and be respectful as well for the islanders because they've got to come out and and they don't need all this hate that they always seem to get and um you know we need to be a little bit careful that they are human beings and that for us we're using them as our entertainment but they are human beings with feelings and if they get things wrong sometimes that's just because they're human the same as you and i we all get things wrong don't we sometimes um so yeah uh, i hope you found this entertaining as well and i will look forward to seeing you in the next video please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and i'll see you really soon take care bye, -bye for now